How's it going guys? My name's Evan and welcome to episode 14 of Bro It Was Suited. We're here at Harrah's in Atlantic City. Came up for the weekend to hang out with some friends and I decided to come up a little early to play some poker. The plan is to play some one two no limit here today and if all things go well play some one three at Borgata tomorrow. And with that being said, let's get into it. So we buy into the one two game for 200. We weren't really getting many hands to start but the first hand I decide to play is five six at clubs in the cutoff. I make it 10 to go, and we only get a call from the big blind. We see a flop heads up that comes 6-6-5, six, six, so we definitely chose the right hand to play. He checks it to me, I decide to check it back here. The turn comes a 4, he checks it to me again, and looking to build a pot, I bet small to $10. He makes the call. We see a river of another 4, and this time he actually leads out for $15. Looking to get a little more value, I decide to raise it up to $50. Hoping that he pays me off with a 4, but unfortunately folds, however it is still nice to win the first pot of the day. Next interesting hand of note, I have 5-7 of diamonds under the gun. I make it 10 to go and only get a call from the player to my left. I know opening 5-7 under the gun probably isn't the best move, but I was running kind of cold and decided to switch things up a bit. So we see a flop heads up that comes 6-8-10 with 2 hearts, giving us the open ended straight draw. Any 4 or 9 gives me a straight here, so for that reason I bet $15 and he ends up calling. The turn comes a lovely 9 of diamonds giving us the 10 high straight. This time I bet small again just hoping to keep him in. I make it 15 and he ends up calling rather quickly. The river comes a king of clubs and looking back I wish I sized up a little more due to how fast he called the turn bet. So on the river I only bet $20 and he calls rather quickly. I end up showing my hand and it's a winner. I think a sizing of 30 there or 35 might be a little better. All right, you could roast me for this one, but the hand immediately following that, we pick up ace queen in the big blind. Couple limps to me, for some reason, I decided to check my option here because I was still stacking my chips from the previous hand. So we see a flop multi-way that comes queen four four. I decide to bet here for $10 and only get a call from the guy to my left again. So we see a turn card heads up that comes another queen, making this hand a little more easier to play. Double checking my cards, yep, I did in fact limp with ace queen of spades. I go ahead and bet here again for $15 this time, and he quickly calls. The river comes a king, and I would have liked to size up again due to how fast he was calling. I guess he just didn't believe me having a good hand again. Anyways, I bet $20 on the river, he quickly calls, and we're good. He ends up mucking his hand. Well, this is a small pot, but an interesting one. I have jack-10 of hearts and a hijack. I make it 10 to go, and two of the limpers call. We see a flop three ways that comes 8-5-5. It checks to me, I decide to check it here. The turn comes an ace, and it checks to me again. I decide to check it back. And the river comes a jack. The first player to act now bets $16, the other player folds, and now the action's on me. Now do you think he has A, an ace, B, a 5, C, a jack, or D, a full house? I'll give you a sec to think about that. If you guessed D, full house, you would be right, because he flips over ace 5. I don't know if I should just fold here, I just got a little curious. With about 275 in my stack, I look down at ace-jack offsuit on the button. Couple limps to me, I make it 10 to go and we get two callers. We see a flop three ways that comes ace-seven-eight eight with two diamonds. It checks to me, I bet $20 here and I get one call. The turn now comes a six, making the board a little more connected. He checks it to me again now, and he could have 9-10. But most likely, I'm leaning more towards him having a hand like ace-10, ace-9, or possibly a flush draw. So for that reason, I bet $30 here, and after some thought, he does make the call. The river comes a king of clubs. All things considered, this card is kind of a blank. He checks it to me, and I really wish I bet here because if my read was right, I definitely missed out on some value. But playing a little too passive, I checked it back, I show my hand, and we're good. He looked a little frustrated, so he easily could have had a hand like ace-10, but still rake in a decent pot towards the end of the session here. Last interesting hand of note from Harris. I'm under the gun with ace-10 of clubs. I make it 10 to go, and we get four callers. We see a flop five ways that comes ace-king-three. 
I bet here for $15 and we get two calls. The turn comes another king, not the best card, not the worst card. I slow down and check here being multi-way and it does actually check through. The river comes another king, giving us an interesting full house. I decide to bet for $15 here, hoping to get called by worse. The player to the left of me folds, and now the player to the right goes pretty deep into the tank. After some thought though, he does make the call. I show my hand, it's good. He ends up mucking. And after this, we decide to rack up. Now stay tuned however, because we still got a little more poker to play in this video. second decision we're here at Tropicana for some more one two in the same night so let's get into it that's right we head over to Tropicana around midnight just trying to get in as much poker as possible this weekend the poker room is pretty busy but after about 25 minutes of waiting I am able to get a seat at a one two table the first hand we get into is when we pick up a six offsuit in the small blind couple limps to me I go ahead and limp here and the big blind checks his option we see a flop five ways that comes eight high with two hearts. I go ahead and check here and everyone else checks. The turn comes an ace and now I bet $10. The big blind calls and the last player to act calls as well. We see a river of a third heart. I'm still gonna go for value here, so I bet $20. The big blind calls and the last player to act folds. I show my hand and the big blind shows pocket jacks. So he had an over pair on the flop, decided to check and then called me down. Well, I'll take it, I guess. So it was pretty late when I sat down, so I wasn't able to play a lot of hands, but one of the last hands of the night, we pick up king nine of hearts in the cutoff. Couple limps to me, I make it 10 to go, and we actually get four callers. So we see a flop five ways that comes eight high with one heart. We missed, but we do have some backdoor equity if it comes. It checks all the way to me, so I take a stab at it for $20 and we get two calls. The turn comes an offsuit queen, no help to me. It checks all the way to me again, and I decide to check it here and see a free river. The river doesn't help as well, but both players check it to me again. I'm assuming they're pretty weak here, so I'm going to go ahead and take a stab at it with king high. Before I can even get my bet out though, both players folded, so got the bluff through, didn't have to sweat it out, and after this, the table broke and it was about time to rack up. So I spent most of Saturday just hanging out, but I knew I had a little extra time before I had to make the drive back home, so I headed over to Borgata to play some 1-3. Let me just say, this poker room was immaculate, and there was a ton of tables going, so it didn't take long for me to get a seat. So we're in for 300, I start to get a little feel for the table, I win a few very small pots, but after about 20 minutes the table breaks and I head over to a new table. We weren't really getting anything to start, but the first interesting hand comes when I pick up ace-king offsuit in the hijack. There's an under the gun raise to $10, I go ahead and 3 bet it to $25. It folds back to the preflop raiser, and now he 4 bets it to $75. This is a pretty tricky spot for me, because I'm yet to see a 3 bet or a 4 bet at this table, and I only sat down about 15 minutes ago, so I really don't have a good read on this player. I have this fear that at best I'm flipping and I could easily be dominated. I haven't seen him play a lot of hands, so taking a very passive route, I decide to fold and he doesn't show, but let me know what you guys would have done there. I really wish I could have played longer because there's only so many hands you can get dealt in an hour. Here we pick up ace-queen, I raise it up but unfortunately everyone folds. And then the last hand to note here, we pick up pocket threes. I decide to limp here in the hijack, the small blind limps and the big blind checks his option. We see a beautiful flop multi-way that comes deuce 3-4 with two clubs. Checks to me, I decide to bet here for $10 and only the small blind calls. We see a turn card heads up that comes the queen of clubs, so bringing in front door clubs. 
I'm still gonna go for value here, so I bet $20. And after some thought, he does make the fold, so no more action here. And after a few more hands, I had to head out and make the drive home. So for the entire weekend, we made a profit of $283 over about four and a half hours of play. Just wanted to say if you made it this far, I really appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a ton, and I'll see you in the next one.